Another one of the great wonders at the Wade, <laughs> I'm, I'm speaking about this one self-servingly, it's a book that I found in a bookstore in London. And I was so impressed with the book, even though it was very expensive, I bought it and dedicated or gave it to the Wade Center, like all of you, I hope, will do. There are treasures out there to be found. And the Wade Center has eyes and ears in a lot of interesting places, but you can be eyes and ears for the Wade Center, too. I walked into a bookstore with two friends. One of them said, oh, do you have any C.S. Lewis books? So I can't ask for that. Another one said, do you have a Tolkien book? So I can't ask for Tolkien. So I said, by default, do you have any George MacDonald? And the man said, I happen to have an interesting George MacDonald book. It's a second edition of his Diary of an Old Soul. And he writes in it to his sister-in-law, who was going through a troubled time in her own life, a struggle with one of her children. At the time that this man brought the book out, I was also going through a troubled time. In four years in a row, on my birthday, I was on one year told that I was um, uh, with cancer. The next year on my birthday, I was told that I didn't pass my Viva for my doctoral defense and I had to go back and do a whole nother rewrite of my thesis. The next year on my birthday, I was told I was fired from Wheaton College. The whole thing got worked out and I got a $7,000 raise when I got rehired, so I should do it with frequency, but it was painful at the time. And the next year on my birthday, I'm told my mother had a stroke. Four years in a row on my birthday. The day after my birthday, I had walked into that bookstore. And McDonald had an unpublished poem written in his own hand in the book. And here's the poem that I needed to hear at that very moment. Go not forth to call thy sorrow from the dim fields of tomorrow. Let her roam there all unheeded. She will come when she is needed. But when she arrives at thy door, she will find God there before. Here was MacDonald who wrote this to his sister-in-law at a troubled time. Obviously, it spent time on her bookshelf. Maybe she gave it to one of her kids, or maybe when she died, her kids divided up the books and one of them got that. Or maybe they took all of her books and sold it to a secondhand store. Somebody else bought it. Maybe it ended up on another shelf and another shelf and another shelf. But that day, I came in when I needed to hear this poem, and that poem was on the book, in that bookshelf, and I got it. There are people all over the world who come to the Wade Center. And they come with various things on their heart. And they need to find certain things that they're looking for, maybe even not looking for, but they get it tangentially. When you find things like that, buy them and contribute to them so that they might also become wonders of the Wade.